folks, welcome back to episode 12 of Let's Play Stellar Sovereigns. I'm Aaron. Um, in our last episode, uh, we started uh, building up some relations with our neighbors as well as uh, doing some more exploration. And we are moving to um, start to work on a way to get more uh, resources so that we can build up a little bit better. Um, and, get, and we're also going to be, uh, I think, starting in on getting our fleets together, building up some more of those. And because of that, we're um, going to move the third fleet back here and start upgrading as well as um, seeing if we can probably build out another fleet or two. Um, we are currently at what I would consider probably a midpoint of the game. We still have a lot of uh, uh, menace threats out there that we're trying to deal with. But we currently have good relations with uh, two of the uh, other factions, and we've got eh, deteriorating relations with the others. Currently, we're very afraid of the Inheritors Nation, um, and that's really due to the fact that they've got um, some good tech and a good navy. So we've been, and their research bonus is way higher than ours, but we've been working to increase our research bonus by um beefing up the r d sector here on our home world we've taken a pause on that because we need to um, start to fill up the industrial sector again uh, because we're running out of uh, people to put in there and that's going to cause us to reduce the number of resources we're able to bring in as well as reduce the amount of trade goods that we can um, produce which um, at this point thanks to our foreign trade routes, we are making considerable amount of cash per turn um, doing that. And so we want to continue to increase that, that um, income. We're also starting to get bottlenecked because we only have one shipyard. So I think um, probably one of the major things that we're going to want to do this uh, um, next uh, few rounds here is to try to get a second shipyard up so that we can retrofit as well as uh, build some transports to uh, continue our uh, transfer of um, resources around our empire. So in order to do that, it looks like we need a few more um, troops. Uh, or to, And so we'll have to see about recruiting. I'm going to spend a, a bit of our cash to get a 0.5 increase. That should give us plenty by next turn. Um, and I'm also going to look into um, what we've got going on here with the uh, first fleet. Okay, we've got these Gatling turrets um, upgrading now, which will help us win our, with our um, damage to the hull. Um, and we've almost got um, the Artemis and um, second artillery fleet returning. So I think we are good for the time being. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see about um, advancing our turn. We're also think going to go over here and try to get to meritocracy to kind of boost some of our abilities, which means that uh, we're going to be looking for, let's do Brilliant Minds again. Um, and... Hmm. Steadfast uh, people seems like a good one as well. And I think that is um, going to start shifting us here. We've got a little bit further to go to get over here. Once we do, we'll switch over and that should help us. And we're, we are going to have to be careful that we, uh, by doing that, we don't mess up our income though. I'm going to take one last turn here, a bit here, and uh, move these uh, settlers over. Okay. We are starting to run a little low on food, uh, despite the uh, bonuses that we're getting. Uh, so I think where we want to go here, um, I'm going to go ahead and start destroying some of the R&D sector. I really don't need this 9200 here. Um, this planet has pretty much no research bonus, so um, it's not really going to provide us with as good of a boost, and we really need the uh, food output instead. So that will hopefully reduce some of our 
development threshold um, over time. Okay. Getting another gift. Cool. Uh, they're trying to push, I think, here to get us to um, that research cooperation, which will help our uh, research quite a bit. Looks like we've got an inaugural ceremony going on. That's going to significantly boost um, our population. I'm going to go ahead and boost that again um, because the income tax that we're going to get from that is going to be pretty good as well as boost this slightly. So that should help both our population uh, growth and our um, abilities here. Uh, we should have plenty of jobs to be able to do that, which will help also with getting our um, uh, trade goods up. I now have enough troops. So I think the next step here is we are going to um, construct a shipyard at Virgo. That way I can start using that shipyard for um, updating um, the or getting more transports for our trade goods. Unfortunately, we have a drought at Elonius 1, which is, ooh, three turns. Yeah. I'll try to drop that by one because that's going to be painful. You can see we're losing a lot of, a lot of folks here. So um, I guess I'm going to also dump all of the uh, settlers in here just to kind of counterbalance that. Okay, what do we got? They are sending everybody over, so... Um, hmm. Let's see what the second artillery fleet needs. Okay, they are mostly tricked out. I'm going to go ahead and get the AI module for the uh, Artemis. Don't think I'll upgrade the uh, cannons here. I guess I can also do a population growth stimulus. Um, it's not going to do much. Yeah, it's not doing enough. Okay. Defiance is headed over here to Talos. I think that's everything. do have enough cash to start building a few more um, ships here, so... Um, I'm going to start fixing the Apollo. a turn or two and see about um, starting in on another um, escort to go with that. Um, so we've got the, the other Apollo. Um, I think we may want to change the name of that. Hmm. Call it the Icarus instead. Um, 
this one will probably stay as is. There's not a lot of need here. It uses six power. Yeah, we got a little bit of low output. Um, I think adding the armor would be good here. Um, we'll we'll build up our uh, titanium alloy a bit here, and then add those. It does look like we're faster than they are, so that's good. Okay. We should have um, our shipyard soon. Once we've got that, we'll start using it to build up some more transports. And our augmentation is going pretty good. Um, Okay, let's see how our colonies are doing. Um, good, Alonius is back to growing. Um, Virgo, we'll put um, everybody back in over here. And as you can see, we are slowly reducing the uh, amount of that R&D sector here. That'll also help um, reduce our up upkeep costs since we're not really using it. It'll still take a couple of turns, I think, until um, we're able to fully get rid of it. I haven't talked too much about defense yet. Um, we'll get to this uh, uh, later. I don't really do a lot with that until it's starting to get much closer to war. It doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense since you can build those up pretty quickly and at least in terms of like actual defense of your planet um having fleets and blocking the enemy from being able to do anything um tends to be more effective okay quarry fleet is done salvaging resources so let's send them over to elonius and finish out the uh um the surveying of that um system How that on Koei 2. Um, it's moving pretty slowly in terms of um, how fast we are um, gaining population and that, that's growing. If we go here and look, it still hasn't gotten to a point yet where it's needed to increase the um, amount of, um, of the development on any of these sectors since we started. So that will happen eventually, but you can you can see how that you know on maybe a fully developed world or a world that's pretty developed, it's okay to you let the AI handle um, the management of the system. But we can get a lot faster growth and a lot better growth if we handle it ourselves. Okay. I'm going to need to, I think, um, throw a bunch of our population now into um, agriculture because we are starting to get low and we're almost at the point where our population growth this next turn is going to equal over um, well more food. We don't want that to happen. Let's see, we have now explored Talus. Nothing interesting there. Um, 
Yeah, it's been severely depleted already. So let's see if there's anything for us to investigate. Go ahead with that. Uh, we can also come down here and we can turn off this explored filter. Um, and that will just kind of gray out um, all of the um, stars that we haven't visited yet. Just to kind of get an idea of where we've been and um, where we might need to go. Okay, so that is going along pretty good. Move our settlers back over here to Elonius. So now we're at the level of research cooperation. I don't think I quite have um, enough. Um, okay, yeah, I, I can probably do a research pact, but I don't know if they'll accept it seeing as they've got so much more research than we do. Um, I expect they'll eventually offer us one and then we can see about um, taking it. Okay, so we got some more command points. Uh, what do we want to do? We'll do field theorists because um, we do need a little bit more gener power generation and that's a pretty good boost for us with 10%. So we're almost down here so that will, once we get down past this point, it should unlock meritocracy for us and we can switch over. Okay. Income is still good. We're getting close to having this finished. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can do this. This might hurt us by going 20% over, but it might also get it done this next turn, which would be nice. Then we can start uh, thinking as to what our next uh, um, goal should be. Uh, looks like I did finish the mining stations. So let's see. What do we know here? Um, hmm. I think we should probably wait till we do that. Um, I don't think, yeah, we've got one asteroid here. Really didn't give us a lot of useful stuff. Um, we have no asteroids down here. Okay, this is actually probably going to be our best bet for a mining station. So let's uh, see what we can do here. Okay, yeah, I'm, it's going to take a lot of time before I get there. So we'll um, leave that alone. Instead, um, let's go ahead and use our new shipyard and queue up several can of um, transports for us so that we can get a bit more um, resources moving. And now that we have the third fleet he back here, um, yeah, there's, let's go ahead and choose the Icarus and the Saracen as the uh, rest of the um, units for that fleet. Um, I think we'll go ahead and swap out these, uh, Vulcan turret with, for these Vulcan turrets here. Okay. And then add a fusion module or fusion core to boost our reactor output even more.
I think. Um, I think these would be best suited to add these um, power cells to them. That way they'll have a little bit of uh, more reserve power to be able to um, build up some of these things. They should stay in the back, so they shouldn't really be taking too many hits. Um, but we'll see what happens. Okay. I think we're now in um, good form here to continue... Um, Moving forward, I think our next shot will be to head over here and take out these sectoids, which will be a, an interesting fight for us, a little bit different than what we've had in the past. Oi. Got Flood Rain at Virgo 3, which is... Really not good, but at least it's not completely tanking us here. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and remove the rest of our R&D sector here. Um... Let's move in another 1,600 population. Um, and I think we have the cash, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our food processing center to level 2, which should start giving us enough cash to start moving into some of these other planets in the sector. Now that we have um, the augmentation complete, that should boost our total output pretty good here. Um, so now we're at 198,000. We'll keep adding stuff to our foreign trade because that's going to be most useful for us. Uh, we got a good research bonus too, so what should we put on here? I'm going to research ag output because I think that's going to be really useful for us um, to start being able to provide for some of these other um, colonies that we're going to be uh, working with here. Then I think Fortrex drive enhancements are going to be necessary because it looks like there's a good um, distance we're going to have to travel. At this point, I'm going to consider the Inheritors, Inheritors Nation as our kind of our primary um, antagonists. Um, they are really going to, I think, cause problems with how much they, their navy and their tech. The other groups, uh, for example, the star hierarchy is not so bad. Um, they're doing better than we are in a lot of ways, but at the same time, they're not so much um, antagonizing us. So, okay. Our income is much better now. Um, so I think what I may want to do is drop our tax rate. Um, maybe not quite that far. Yeah, let's do that. That gives, still gives us good income, but that should help boost our um, growth on our planets, which I think will be helpful for us. I'm also going to stop um, increasing our ag se sector here. Um, let's see. We can now afford the uh, research complex 
we do a synthetics laboratory, that will boost our um, drugs and sus uh, substances, which doesn't look like we were doing anything here, so that's probably not going to be as useful. Um, on planets that don't have any real research um, capabilities, this um, education center is very helpful because it increases your base scientific aptitude by 0.1 across the empire. Um, but in this case, we're going to do a research complex and then looks like, yeah, we'll probably do a core mining district as our um, final upgrade here for our moon. A couple of turns left there. Okay. Let's go ahead and advance. I'm going to need to put a few freighters here just to kind of get rid of that, uh, even though it's not getting us nearly as much money as uh, some of these are. Unfortunately, this is, our diplomatic relations are going down um, a little bit because um, we aren't providing as much trade goods as they like. I think that's these guys. So we can also change the destination of these, which is nice. I don't really do too much. Um, it might be good for us to see if... I think we can only have one per area, so we may not be able to... Um, can I set the destination there? Yeah, no. Oh, shoot. Um, something happened. I don't know what happened there. Our income dropped massively. Let's see. What's going on here? Um, let's pump cultural enterprises. Let's see if that helps. Or we need to be careful because uh, if we go and go at least a million under, then we end up in a place where um, we are going to be taking um, a hit to our approval across um, the entire empire, which is not going to be very good for us. So I think, unfortunately, that means that it's time I'm going to have to uh, up my... Yeah, I'm going to have to up that. And then... We're going to go here and sell some goods. Nice. Okay. That gets us back going again and keeps us with a positive income. Yeah, Koei still hasn't uh, picked up. Lonius is still not making us money. Um, we can still drop more colonists here. Okay. Okay, we've got exploration data on the Draconis system. Um, 
Let's see the proper system. Oh, we've got a decent tropical world there. Um, nothing really interesting for us to survey. And the Dracona system, which has... Oh, wow. One really, really good planet there f for us. Um, and still nothing overly interesting. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead and do the survey first level on the planets here. And we've got some more Empire point gains. Not quite enough to do anything yet. Uh, they are wanting to have a uh, seven turn trade agreement, so, or sorry, a research agreement, so we'll do that. And they're praising us. Not by much, but you know, a little bit. Every little bit counts. That should next turn really boost our, our um, research bonus, uh, which will help us get, get caught up in some of the tech here. I think we get the better deal of that. Okay. Let's see. So we're about a hundred thousand extra here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop building that. Um, that should hold us for a little bit. I'll keep boosting Virgo, um, because that is actually making us some money there. So it's worth it to do. Um, let's see. I think it'll be a long time before Alonius gets to a point that it's going to be making us uh, money. And we have another freighter. Go ahead and drop the second one there to take care of the demand. Okay. So I think that is probably going to be a good place uh, for us to end this episode. Our next episode is going to be finishing uh, getting our fleets up to speed and then taking out these uh, sectoids. So if I go ahead and uh, click here, we can see that the malfunctioning power grid um, looks like we've got nine turns before the Apollo is done. So I'm going to go ahead and move the Apollo down in the queue because that will get us um, the ships we need upgraded more quickly. Um, let's double check here. Third fleet. We can go ahead and upgrade that. Good. Something to keep in mind, down here in the bottom, if you scroll down, there is a little thing that tells you the upkeep cost for the ships, so you can kind of get an idea how much it is per ship. And you can see the vessel upkeep here as well. So. Okay. I think that is everything. So, once again, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.